the feminine hygiene tips that you should never do without is one keeping your vagina area clean and dry after urination you want to make sure that you leave that place clean and dry in order for you to avoid odor and irritation caused by urine droplets you know bacteria need warmth and moisture to grow by keeping that area dry and clean you are going to be reducing the risk of bladder and yeast infection number two there are periods when the discharge from this area is much this is when you want to be using panty liner at least twice in a day depending on how much the discharge is okay and of course you know that you should use at least one underpant per day if you can use two or even more depending on you depending on how much sweat that you produce or you know how big you are of course if you live in a country Country like Nigeria where the weather is so hot and you happen to sweat a lot you will need to use at least one panty <laughs> in a day okay number three tip is that regular bath soap and shower gel is not made to be used in the V part of your body this is because the pH level of these products are made for the surface of the skin whereas the pH level of your V part is between 3.8 to 4.5 Using regular bath soap or scented products is just going to alter the delicate pH balance of your V part The pH balance of this area are specifically made that way to fight germs that might want to invade that area <laughs> the fourth tip is that avoid the use of gloves and sponges in that area these materials are rough and they can cause irritation in that area your hand is good enough for your personal hygiene in that spot number five after the use of the toilet in fact this is a common an hygiene practice but in case you've forgotten which is possible you want to make sure that you're wiping that area from the front to the back okay in order for you to avoid transferring of germs that could cause infection in your v part so this is worth reminding you don't forget to wear cutting pants okay there are some panties that are half cutting they are half lace if you feel that cutting pant is not attractive enough for you even even though it is the best for you especially if you live in an area that is hot as hot as nigeria you want to make sure that you wear cutting pants all the time or the kind of part that has cutting at the crotch area this will help in absorbing moisture and if you have the habit of changing your pants to at least twice a day it will go a long way to help you in keeping that area hairy clean and dry number six please 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 use water to clean up after the use of the toilet okay some people believe that the use of tissue is sufficient for them to clean that area it is not it does not do the magic it doesn't do the trick it doesn't clean it doesn't clean that area good enough okay some people that have gotten to know about these have started using baby wipe or wipe specifically made for this purpose another important fact is that water does the work perfectly well i grew up in a home where we were made to know this fact nowadays it is made possible for you to use water after the use of the toilet by the invention of bomb gun and body box okay so even if you are outside of your home and these things are not made available to you baby wipe is the best because it contains moisture and it does the work better number seven avoid having so much hair on your pubic area okay is either you trim or you shave the hair off okay i personally am not a fan of shaving it off completely 
no i am not because you know it causes a lot of skin irritation when you leave that area bare and it comes in contact with your sweat and the sweat is being broken down you know by the bacteria on the skin it is the reason why that place is easily irritated and it can cause bombs and you know when this happens this is another source of body odor because of course it's going to generate its own smell that we now add up to whatever smell that is supposed to be there or or that is there in the first place so guys thank you once again for tuning in don't forget to like the video Stay blessed, stay beautiful, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.